All right, guys, welcome to the first tying video. Um, we're going to get you guys going on a nice, beautiful coho fly tonight. This fly is absolutely amazing. Super simple, um, something anybody can do, beginner, avid fly tire, doesn't matter. So I'm going to give you a quick preview of what this fly is going to turn out to look like. And here it is. So looks a little straggly right now. But oh my goodness, once this sucker gets wet, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, three, three materials, actually two materials and a bead. How much easier can it get? Okay, so here we go. First thing we're going to use is a TMC 3761 size 6 nymph hook. Love these hooks. These hooks are amazing. And uh, super important, make sure you clamp that barb down. This is a sport, not a meat market. So don't forget that guys. Second, we got a 532nd copper bead. Um, beautiful beads work amazing with the coho. So slide that bad boy on, lock it in the vise, and let's get started. So for thread, we're gonna use a six aught olive done. A um, little bit stronger than the eight aught. We are fighting salmon here, so you need a little bit of strength. I like to wrap my finger around it a couple times just so that once you lock it down, give it a quick pull and break that piece off. So keep working the shank, get down to the barb of the hook approximately. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, somewhere down there works great. Second, after that, we're going to throw in some UV Polar Chenille Hot Orange. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, what a color. Shows through just beautifully. So just get a little nub of that. Lock her down. Tie up a little bit. Whip finish that bad boy off. And there you go. I do have a rotary vise, so this makes life a little bit easier. Hang that off to the side. We're going to spin this up maybe five wraps or so, right about there. Not quite halfway up the hook shank, but getting close. So we're going to lock that bad boy in. Wrap around the front, couple in the back. Locked in place. Snip that off. There we go. Step one complete. Couple thread wraps over top just to make sure that's locked in. All right, the last material we're using dyed UV polar chenille in olive. This is a long chenille. Uh, you can see. The little bits of purple in there absolutely love this stuff um, I've been using it throughout the season and I've had incredible luck you don't necessarily need to use the long uh, I have the short I have the medium it all works absolutely amazing so we're gonna lock that piece in wrap up to the front and whip finish a couple times get that thread out of the way oh something I forgot to mention is if you notice I keep the material in the bag when I'm tying it um, this just eliminates all waste so you know I know it's not super expensive stuff but why waste it if you don't have to uh, if you need to get any of this stuff uh, you can go to C run fly and tackle Michael and young sells it as well um, both awesome places to go so either go see Andrew at Sea Run or uh, Ryan at Michael and Young's. Anyway, um, here we go. We're just gonna keep using that rotary vise and whip this back into shape. So make sure you pull all your materials back and just do that on every wrap, just to make sure that the materials are stretched back as far as they possibly can and the fly will turn out a little bit nicer action will be better keep going all the way up the hook as you can see just pulling back on every turn so once we get to the bead 
I like to do one extra turn just to make sure all that extra material is lying over the hook. So that's looking pretty full. I like that. So I'm just going to hold that down for a minute. Go around the front, lock it down twice in the front, in the back, a couple more times in the front. And that should be locked in pretty good. So clip that material off, pull everything back, couple thread wraps to make sure it's all locked in. Give that a nice whip finish. Beauty, and that's pretty much it. I always do two just to make sure this bad boy can last. I love giving these out to my friends and I want them to know that when they get a fly from me, it's quality. Snip that off. And we're gonna throw just a little bit of UV resin on here from Solar Res. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Solar Res, if you ever wanna send me some UV cure, I will use it, I guarantee it. Love this stuff. So pull the materials back, throw a little bit on the thread wraps there. Nothing too major. Try not to get it on the material. One more little dip. There you go. And that's it. Let that soak in for just a second. Whip out the torch. Blast it. Should take about two seconds. Couple rotations. And bada bing, bada boom. We are done. So that is the final product. Uh, don't quite have a name for this one, but let's call it the Coho Crusher because you will absolutely crush the Coho on this fly. Give it a shot. If you like it, let me know. Um, subscribe to GT11. Awesome place to uh, get tips, attractions, all that cool stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time and uh, good luck. Tight loops. Have fun. Thank you.